What's up, scrappers and gold refiners? A Google search I did earlier today tells me that there is approximately, give or take, one gram of pure gold per 100 grams of RAM IC chips. I've got 538 chips between all these pieces of RAM and 10 chips weighs 5.5 grams. I'm not good at math, but a little bit of uh, addition, subtraction, and division reveals I should have close to 3 grams of gold, 2.9 grams of gold in all these chips. So what I'm doing here, got them up on the hot plate, knocking those IC chips off. After we get that done, we'll move on to the next step. All right, that's the last of it. This is not an instructional video. This is how I process gold recovered from electronics. Do not attempt these processes unless you have a working knowledge of the acids and the reactions being done. Proper personal protective equipment must be used.
So here we are the next day. Our gold has settled out. It's a nice brown color, not black. There is some white precipitant in there, but we'll go ahead and siphon off this liquid and then we'll do a couple hot water rinses with distilled water. Before we do that, we'll do a quick stannous chloride test to make sure we don't have any gold still in our solution. Make sure it's all precipitated out. You can see there's no change in color on that, so we're good to go. Anytime I pour off solution with powdered gold in it, I always filter it through a tightly packed cotton filter just in case any of my gold sediment goes over. Then I can process this filter later with aqua regia. can see our powder gold in there. We're gonna rinse with some boiling hot distilled water. Give it a nice mix and allow it to settle out again. Well guys, the yield from that 
538 IC chips. I think it was like close to 300 grams of IC chips. Was absolutely disrespectful. I did get some gold. And any gold is more gold than we had. So we'll be happy about that. And point one grams of pure gold to me is better than having 300 grams of IC chips laying around so we'll take what we can get that was 0.1 grams a tenth of a gram and I did get quite a bit in my filter from pouring off the water washes and the original solution and I just keep those for processing later they kind of just go around and around through the process. You add your filters into your aqua regia and then when you filter again, you end up with another filter to process. So kind of just an ongoing cycle, but the process wasn't too bad. Everything went fairly smoothly, no mishaps or, or big mistakes on that part. So with that said, those were the DDR IC chips and I've got a bunch of these Ram BGA chips. Not exactly sure how many, but I mean, they are absolutely tiny. I think the next step in this phase, I'll go ahead and remove all these BGA chips and course there will be solder on the bottom which we can remove with hydrochloric acid and water so tin solution what I call it we can get the solder off of those and I think instead of dry ashing by burning we will process these with sulfuric acid what they call wet ashing and that way we'll get a little better look at the gold bond wires and whatnot that's inside of them so i might take a sample of three or four of the most common chips that i have here and completely dissolve the plastic and sulfuric to get a good look at the bond wires and the amount of gold wire and stuff that's in there so stay on the lookout for that video i'll get into that probably in the next couple days i get it edited and get it posted for you guys i sure appreciate y'all watching we're gonna go ahead and call the Snapchat AI a bald-faced liar. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the channel. Scrap Daddy 365 y'all have a great day. Go out there and find a teeny tiny amount of gold if you can.